it's Saturday morning and we are headed to Dollywood today. Rose, they're playing 20 questions in the back, but we're almost to Dollywood. So. Anyway, we decided to come down um, to Pigeon Forge for our spring break Use the right trip. Lanes to turn slightly right onto I don't know how to get to Dollywood. So. <laughs> and, um, we're just, it was just a quick weekend trip. We are staying at, what is it called? The in resort at Governor's feet, Crossing. At your destination. It's kind of like little condos. We've never stayed there before, but it's really nice. And I think we all really like it. Um, and then we're spending all day here today at Dollywood. Um, I'm not sure. We'll probably go back and swim tonight because the boys seemed to enjoy that last night. And then tomorrow, the plan is to get up, go eat at Shoney's in the morning because boys love their breakfast buffet. And um, then we're gonna go to a couple of flea markets that we really like. Or there's that one big one, but then there's that one that. Um, and you still get good deals at. So yeah, and it's, it's got a lot of like antiques at that other one. That's the one that I like, the antique one. Um, the other flea market is just like a flea market, but the boys really like that one. Anyway, so we're gonna do that tomorrow and then we're heading back home. So it's just a quick weekend trip. Um, yeah, and I think we have decided to do season passes at Dollywood so we can come back and do this for fall break, maybe once again in summer, maybe at Christmas, because my mother-in-law likes to take the family down to Dixie Stampede every year at Christmas, and we could go to Dollywood after that, so we'll see. That's kind of the plan. sitting here and we're waiting on daddy and the bros to get off of the wild eagle ride so ezra tell me what was your favorite ride so far today he's finally big enough to ride the tennessee tornado okay so we rode we rode the um what was the fire or what the old, it's like an old firefighter. Yeah, yeah, um, it's, yeah, it's, um, you probably didn't feel it, but I remember feeling just like, <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun ones. Anyway, oh, wait, I think I, I think it was like, well, that's just fun. <laughs> So anyway, we're waiting on Bros to get off of the Wild Eagle because Ez is not big enough to ride that one yet. No, and then, then we are going to maybe get some lunch, maybe ride another ride. The ride, the line, the wait time on the ride is starting to get a little long, so we may get some of the fast pass things, time saver passes. I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, we'll see. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. I'm kind of getting hungry. Are you? Somebody 
Everybody's not happy here in the background. <laughs> flying everywhere. All right, guys, let's go get some ice cream. Okay, so it is Sunday morning and we are packing up to leave um, the resort at Governor's Crossing. We've got all of our towels in one spot, all of our bedding on our beds. The boys have packed their suitcases and Dean's taken the first load down to the car. We just have one more right here and our water to go into the car. I've got to start the dishwasher as soon as I finish my coffee. And the boys have all of their switch stuff to get. I think that's everything. So when we leave here, where are we going? Shoney's. <laughs> Answer from the bathroom. We are going to Shoney's for their breakfast buffet, which is one of the boys' favorite things to do when we're out on vacation because we don't ever really eat Shoney's at home, right? We have one Wait, I didn't in Johnson City. In Johnson City, we've been there like a long, long, long time ago. I don't even know the last time we went. But anyway, when we're in Pigeon Forge, um, we do try to go to Shoney's for breakfast one morning, either there or IHOP. But anyway, we're gonna do that this morning and then we're going to go to some flea markets. And I don't know what else we're gonna get into. We're not like in a rush to get home, but we do have animals that need us. So <laughs> we need to get back. I need my animal. I need my dog. Yes, Uncle Derek has been taking care of the dogs and the cats, <laughs> but we're missing them, so we gotta get back. Anyway. friends I just got back from the flea market um, actually I've been home for a while I unpacked washed some clothes cleaned up a bit and I brought all of these plants out here that I bought at the flea market and I've already potted them so I thought that I would show you guys so the first thing I did was I took this one which is called a fairy washboard and I don't know the names of all these but I do I can find out the names for you because I have a plant ID app so if you're curious just let me know in the comments below and I'll get names for you guys but anyway, these three I had bought a couple of years ago. They were actually in these containers, one in each one, and they have gotten so big, I wanted to transfer them out of those small containers and put them in a larger one. Let me sit down here and look at it like this. So I did that first. Um, I put in some gravel at the bottom of this container. Then I put in activated charcoal powder. You can see it over there. I just sprinkled it over the top of the rocks. And then I put this um, succulent mix in on top. And the charcoal powder is supposed to help keep fungal things from getting into your soil and making your plants sick. So anyway, once I had this in, I added my three big plants and then I filled in with these smaller succulents that I got at the flea market this past weekend when we've been there on spring break. Um, I put my light blues on either side, purple, a couple of greens here in the center, and then this yellowy green. This is actually like a cactus, but it's a succulent cactus, so it doesn't get all prickly like regular cactuses do apparently that's what they said so that's there and i planted these two back in these containers um i don't have anything for this one just yet but this one 
it actually fills out the top and starts kind of spilling over the side. And then this one does this too. I've seen these a lot. These are common indoor house plants, um, but they, the little chains um, will fall over all over the place. I can't remember what this one's called. Anyway, like I said, if you're curious about what they're called, I can look them up on my plant app, but I wanted to jump on here really quickly and show you what I did with the plants that I bought at the flea market today. Let me think here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I believe I paid $24 for those seven. Now that's a pretty good price, I think, for little succulents and you know, with so many different varieties. So I'm happy with that. These will get big and they'll eventually need divided. Like this very washboard has already got babies coming off the side and it will need divided as soon as it gets a little bit bigger. This one has like four maybe different like roots right here like trunk kind of things and roots down in there so I could divide that up if I wanted to this one could be divided into two right there um, so anyway as these get bigger I imagine they will be able to be divided and I can make more containers if I want or give some away as gifts either way I'm excited to see how these do I have to find a big windowsill for this um, that gets a lot of sun and I'll put these two back by my bedroom window because I know that gets plenty of sun. All right, so I'm gonna water these really well, let them sit for a bit and then pour any extra water off of them and that will be their watering for the week. And while I am letting them soak, I'm gonna go water all my other houseplants because I didn't do it since we were gone this weekend. I'm gonna do it now that we're home. 